Mac students to one more session of your P block chapter. So we've already started with your P block that is group 15 where, <coughs> where I've taught you about the compound nitrogen. We've also seen the different compounds shown by nitrogen that is ammonia. We have I've also done so many reasoning questions based on ammonia and I also taught you uh, the reactions, the equations which are involved uh, with nitric acid. So we also drawn the structure of nitric acid. Let's come back and start with phosphorus. So whenever you're studying about phosphorus, the most important questions are asked from this topic in group 15 right so in phosphorus basically atomic number 15 it's going to show us or it's going to form compounds first let us see what what are we supposed to study in phosphorus you're going to start or study about types of phosphorus that is you'll be studying about white phosphorus you'll be studying about red phosphorus you'll be studying about your uh, uh, black phosphorus also violet phosphorus also is there but not prescribed for your syllabus then after that we are going to study about the compounds of phosphorus that is phosphine i'll be teaching you about the properties of phosphine we'll be studying what is ohm signal everything a very important concept of phosphine also after that phosphorus we are going to study also about phosphorus uh, halides that is phosphorus trichloride as well as phosphorus pentachloride i'll be teaching you the differences and reactions also and we'll be doing the most important oxo acids of phosphorus and oxo acids of phosphorus <laughs> i'll be teaching you almost seven to eight types of oxo acids along with the structures basicity and reducing character so let's start with the first type of question that is type of phosphorus that is white phosphorus and red phosphorus so already <laughs> I have written a question here. Write the differences between white phosphorus and red phosphorus. Simple. First, always remember whenever they are asking you to write the differences, try to write the structural difference. After writing a structural difference, try to gradually go into the uh, what do you say preparation methods. And after the preparation methods, you can gradually go into its physical property, whether it is waxy solid or whether, whether it is soft, whether it looks like graphite. So let's start. Whenever in the exam, if they give you this question, try to make two columns and start your answer with a structural difference. Yes. So when I speak about uh, your uh, white phosphorus, most important in white phosphorus when I see you have P4 atoms which are tetrahedrally arranged like this. So one phosphorus atom here, everything is tetrahedrally arranged. This phosphorus is linked to this. This phosphorus is linked. This is again linked to this. This is again linked. And this phosphorus is linked and tetrahedral arrangement. So what will I write? White phosphorus consists of P4 <coughs> phosphorus 4 atoms which are which are arranged tetrahedral isn't it tetrahedral yes the four atoms linked together tetrahedrally yeah okay done so what are the forces of uh, attraction here they are held by held by weak van der waals forces okay this is main important concept van der waals forces done so everything is p4 linked together van der waals forces when i have to speak about red phosphorus here also in red phosphorus you have p4 atoms only but only difference is one p4 is linked to the other the other p4 is linked together by covalent bonds let's draw this is one phosphorus second third fourth yes now this phosphorus are tetrahedrally linked. This is linked to this, this is linked to this, this is again linked, this is again linked, this whole thing is linked. Now again, <coughs> this phosphorus is linked to the second phosphorus. Now you have one more, one more P, one more P. In this way, all, okay, let me make it a bit uh, far. Right, I have to make this far, isn't it? Okay. Right. Now, now observe carefully this phosphorus again linked to this this phosphorus is again linked to it this one one more in this way the phosphorus atoms one after the other are linked so what are you finding here here this is a single entity or single unit but here you have polymeric unit so write down red phosphorus is a polymeric p4 unit tetrahedrally tetrahedrally arranged so what are the type of bonds which we are finding here we said weak van der waals forces here it's going to form covalent bonds arranged by covalent bonds so simple isn't it right now let's come back and write the second one draw the structure explain in terms of that draw the structure explain in terms of that let's come back and do the preparation of white phosphorus as well as red phosphorus
I can start with the chemical properties of your white phosphorus and red phosphorus. It's a very important reaction here. Now, red white phosphorus, as we said, it has a tetrahedral arrangement, isn't it? Four phosphorus are linked. So I'm going to take that as P4. Then here I'm going to introduce a base, sodium hydroxide, along with that. So means uh, the aqueous solution of that water molecule. Now, suppose if I take three moles of this and three moles of water molecules here, right? In the exam, they'll ask you to complete the following reaction. So remember, in the presence of a base, very important reaction in the presence of a base that is a <coughs> aqueous solution of that you are going to get a compound called phosphine so just observe one p from here and three hydrogens from here it becomes phosphine and after that the leftover just observe there is still uh, sodium here this comes out as sodium right i have not it balanced after that you still have phosphorus isn't it phosphorus here oxygen here hydrogen still exist so that's going to form a compound called na h2 p o 2 so how many three sodiums so three sodiums na is from here phosphorus is from here which is left out because one phosphorus has come here we left with three phosphoruses which are there so three plus one four and oxygen so let us see three to the six so three twos are now how many hydrogens three twos are six here and then uh, uh, three twos are six here also we have balanced this here again just see here three is six plus three nine three twos are six plus three nine balanced oxygen here three twos are six here oxygens three oxygens and three okay it is balanced so what is the name of this compound this is called sodium hydrogen stands for this is hypophosphite phosphide very important three moles three moles and three moles remember that the compound which is formed is sodium for hypophosphite done so now when i have to speak about red phosphorus most important i've given a question here explain the following reaction of alkali with red phosphorus red phosphorus though they give you the reaction remember red phosphorus does not react with sodium hydroxide directly most important question you win right <coughs> red phosphorus does not react with NaOH directly remember this part right we know it's directly but how does it react it's going to react with NaOH in the presence of hydrogen peroxide only I'll show you that reaction right so it does not react with NaOH directly but reacts in the presence of in the presence of hydrogen peroxide so you have to remember this question very important directly if they give you like this red phosphorus plus naoh and they ask you to write the products you write no products don't write cross you're going to write no products then let's come back and see the reaction with hydrogen peroxide right let's come back and do this reaction of um, red phosphorus with hydrogen peroxide so i said directly it will not react but you when you supply amount of hydrogen peroxide some particular temperature this is going to react with sodium hydroxide let's see so here what am i going to do i'm going to take phosphorus and here directly i've added sodium hydroxide but here <coughs> i'm going to take phosphorus i'm also going to add hydrogen peroxide along with that sodium hydroxide and now remember here this phosphorus i'm going to take two moles of this when you take two moles of this immediately remember pick up hydrogen peroxide four and tell you why what is the reason <coughs> sodium hydroxide try to pick up two moles two four two now what is uh, uh, this in importance here it's going to form a compound called n2 na sorry na2 that's why two moles na2 done and the phosphorus is 2 so p2 <coughs> done after this hydrogen how many hydrogens are here your four twos are eight here and two ten hydrogens so in those ten hydrogens i said there are ten hydrogens isn't it and now you're going to divide the hydrogens how eight hydrogens will come out as water that means it's like this eight not eight four i should tell you four four twos are eight so what are what is left four h2 water is left so how many are over two are over so how many are left four twos are eight here and two ten are there so eight are over you still have two so it, it this comes uh, to Na2 done P2 done H2 done now oxygens how many are there you have when I see this is four oxygens but total how many are there here four two are eight nine ten are there already how many are there four are over six are left so <coughs> Na2 P uh, P2H2O6 this is the compound which is formed so let's see whether it is balanced two sodiums done 2 phosphorus done, 
टू प्लस फोर टू से एट एट नाइन टेन हाइड्रोजन डन ऑक्सीजन फोर प्लस फोर टू से एट नाइन टेन सो ऑलरेडी फोर अदे सिक्स आर हियर आई हेव रिटर्न दिस इज अ कंपाउंड व्हिच इज फॉर्म्ड व्हेन व्हाइट फास्फोरस सॉरी रेड फास्फोरस रिएक्ट्स विद सोडियम हाइड्रोक्सिन हाइड्रोजन पेरोक्साइड सो रिमेंबर व्हेन यू आर राइटिंग ट्राई टू रिमेंबर द बैलेंसिंग हियर देन ओनली इट्स इजी फॉर यू टू राइट द प्रेडिक्ट द प्रोडक्ट Let's come back and see the next physical properties. We have already seen the chemical properties. Now we will see the physical properties of white phosphorus and red phosphorus. So when I have to see the physical properties, white phosphorus, as we said, it is P4 tetrahedral unit. <coughs> it is a waxy, <coughs> soft solid. Sorry, soft in nature. Now here, when I have to speak, now here you have written soft. You have to write the opposite part. That is hard. When you speak about hard, it is nothing but crystalline in nature, isn't it? So red phosphorus is a hard, soft opposite. I have written already. Waxy means soft. So instead of waxy, I am going to write crystalline solid. Crystalline solid. Done. So when I have to speak about its nature, <coughs> this particular thing is. It's highly poisonous. It's highly poisonous. Poisonous in nature. Poisonous. This is. It's not poisonous. Okay. Right. Now, when I have to write further about this, include certain points for getting three marks. You can also write its solubility. So, when I have to speak its solubility, white phosphorus is. <clears throat> insoluble in water and soluble in carbon disulfide you have seen it as a solvent here when i have to speak right about its solubility of red phosphorus <clears throat> so it is insoluble in water and carbon disulfide both it is insoluble now if i have to speak about its reactivity this is highly reactive uh, among all the phosphoruses and this is less reactive so i have included all the points six points first would be the structure second would be the chemical properties third would be the physical properties and fourth would be your reactivity so simple isn't it uh, if they ask you the differences try to mention all the six points for three marks and start with your third type of phosphorus that is your black phosphorus so basically black phosphorus is a very simple concept nothing much to remember let's first learn the structure so whenever we speak about black phosphorus structure most important keyword which you have to remember is it has monoclinic or rhombohedral structure okay how does this look like rhombohedral structure let's see the structure how does it look now here you have one phosphorus <coughs> one more phosphorus here one more phosphorus this is again linked to one more phosphorus like p6 rather p6 so all are linked the rhombohedral structure now again this phosphorus forms a base for one more p p One more P P six. So this keeps uh, like uh, multiplying. So all the phosphorus units, P six units are linked. So that is a black phosphorus. So now when I have to see <coughs> or preparation, how I, how can I prepare black phosphorus? Simple. So black phosphorus, <coughs> it's again divided into two types. Black phosphorus is divided into two alpha black phosphorus and beta black phosphorus. Okay, done. So in alpha black phosphorus, when I have to speak or when I have to prepare, I simply take red phosphorus, which we have studied in the earlier revision. I am going to take red phosphorus and I am going to heat it to almost 803 Kelvin. Then I get alpha black phosphorus. The same thing when I have to prepare beta black phosphorus. Here I took red phosphorus, isn't it? Now we are going to take white phosphorus here, a temperature of almost. Like uh, ha almost half of that, 473 Kelvin. I get black phosphorus. So this is the preparation for this. Done. Now once I do learn the preparation, let us write the physical properties. So when I have to see the physical property of this black phosphorus is just like your you know flaky, just like your graphite. It will have a graphite-like structure. You have seen the layers of graphite, isn't it? So we will write it has flaky graphite-like structure. 
why did i write like this if they give you a question what which among the uh, phosphorus which which structure of phosphorus has flaky structure or graphite structure that means that is one mark question that is black phosphorus we also call it uh, this as beta metallic structure beta metallic structure so black phosphorus has graphite like a structure remember this one mark question done now once i'm done with the structure about the physical properties about the preparation and about the types let us finish off with the reactivity so i said uh, among all the uh, three white red and black black is the least reactive phosphorus because of the free valence so have right it is least reactive among all so remember this concept so this is more than enough for your black phosphorus let's come back and start with the next important concept that is your phosphine 